Today we're going to learn about shortage and surplus, what those are, and how to tell the difference. It's a cool thing to learn, and we're going to start out by talking about shopping. I know. We love shopping. Shopping is so much fun. Sometimes you can have a car. You put items in the cart that you're interested in purchasing. All the items have a price. At the end, you get to add them all up, and you get to buy them. It's an exciting thing to go shopping. Now, when you've gone shopping, have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? There's a lot of empty space on these shelves. This is called a shortage. A shortage is when there is not enough for sale at the current price. There's not enough items to sell. So when somebody comes by and wants to buy one of these items, they can't because there's not enough for sale at the current price. These are bananas. A lot of bananas. Tons and tons of bananas. In fact, this might be too many bananas for the store to sell. This is called a surplus. That's when there is too much for sale at the current price. You see, a shortage is when there is not enough for sale at the current price. Like these empty shelves. This is a shortage. But a surplus is the exact opposite. A surplus is when there is too much for sale at the current price. Our example are the bananas. These bananas are all ripe and they're ready to turn. They need to get sold and sold quickly to different families and people that want to eat the bananas. But a surplus is when you have too much for sale. There are too many bananas. Another way of putting it, a shortage is when there's not enough. A surplus is when there is too much. So stores and people who sell goods and services want to make sure that they're right in the middle. They don't want to have a shortage, but they don't want to have a surplus either. They want to be right down the middle because a shortage, there's not enough. And a surplus, there's too much. Hey, let's look at some examples. <laughs> We're going to look at some situations and decide, is this a shortage or a surplus? Shortage or surplus? And you can help us out. Are you ready? <laughs> cool. Let's get started. Let's say a store has six computers that they want to sell. And there are ten people who want to buy the computers at the current price. So six computers and 10 people who are willing to buy it at the current price. Is there a shortage or surplus? Is there a shortage or surplus? Yeah, a shortage. There are not enough computers to sell to everyone who's willing to buy them at the current price. They need to make sure they have more computers to sell so there's no longer a shortage. Let's try this one. Let's say an office store has nine calculators that they are selling. And let's say there are six people who want to buy the calculators at the current price. So there are nine calculators and there are six people who are willing to buy the calculators at the current price. Is there a shortage or surplus? Is there a shortage or surplus? Uh-huh, a surplus. There are too many calculators to sell. The store might need to lower the price of the calculators so more people are willing to buy the calculators and there would no longer be a surplus. Ah, pizza shop. Let's say a pizza shop has 10 pizzas and there are 13 people who want to buy the pizzas at the current price. So there are 10 pizzas and there are 13 people who want to buy a pizza at the current price. Is there a shortage or surplus? 
Is there a shortage or surplus? Yeah, a shortage. There are not enough pizzas to sell to everyone who's willing to buy at that current price. They need to make more pizza so there's no longer a shortage. Our last example is an ice cream shop. Mmm, <clears throat> tasty. Let's say there are 26 ice cream cones available for sale and there are 18 people who want to buy the ice cream at the current price. Interesting situation. 26 ice cream cones, 18 people who are interested in them. Is there a shortage of ice cream cones or a surplus of ice cream cones? Which is it? Shortage or a surplus? Yeah, a surplus. There are too many ice cream cones to sell and the ice cream shop might need to lower their prices so that more people are willing to buy ice cream cones and there won't be a surplus because guess what? The ice cream's gonna melt. To review, a shortage is when there is not enough for sale at the current price. Just like this picture of the empty store shelves, this is a shortage. A surplus, however, is when there is too much for sale at the current price. Our example were the bananas that need to get sold, and it looks like there might be way too many. That is a surplus. An easy way of looking at it is a shortage is when there is not enough. A surplus is when there is too much. You know, it can be tricky for stores to price items. If the price isn't balanced, there can be a shortage or a surplus. Well, I guess it's time to go back shopping. Wow. Now you understand shortage and surplus, and you understand that people who offer goods and services have big choices when they set the prices for things. Well, that's about it. So we'll uh, see ya. Like I said, I gotta, I gotta go shopping. I don't know why you're s still here. I gotta, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, seriously. Thanks for watching.